Welcome to Cornwall. Do you dream of escaping the fast pace of city living? Do you fantasise about selling up and moving to the sea? Well, we've all at least thought about it, but how tough is it to turn the dream into a reality? This is a challenge that's going to really put our professional house hunting skills to the test. Peter and Claire O'Sullivan have quit the capital and moved their three children to Cornwall to look for a new home and a new way of life. Which is your favourite looking one? Strawberry. What, a chocolate cone? We've been very lucky. The house that we had in London, we bought three and a half years ago, and during that time, gone up in value so much that uh, it was worth it for us to cash it in, dump the mortgage, come down to the country. At the moment, the family are renting a house so they can search for a property on Cornwall's northern coast. What we're looking for is a property with some kind of potential, something we can utilise to make some extra money. So we're not just looking for a family home, but a business on the side as well. And they know exactly where they want it. It'd be nice to be near a beach uh, for, the, for the children to be able to go down there and they can go and you know, play, learn to surf, get into this, the boarding culture generally. It's just a healthier way of life, I think. In a nutshell, our ideal home would be a wonderful family home with enough room for all of us to knock about without uh, being on top of each other. So what kind of property will Claire and Peter be able to buy in Cornwall? Well, it's the land of the bungalow and the static caravan. There's an active market for holiday homes. But with ever-improving transport links, the area is also becoming a popular choice for people wanting an all-year-round better life. We're starting our search in the picturesque harbour of Port Isaac. How do you do? Peter. Now, we know that you're looking for a completely different lifestyle. That's right. But also, you want to find a house which brings some income in. That's right. Yeah, do. preferably somewhere windy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how much are you prepared to spend on this? Well, we've got 240000 to spend. We could push it a little bit if we find a real dream house, but we'd like to keep it to that level if we can. Fine, we'll work with that. Now, we know you want to be as close to the sea as possible. Yeah, indeed. And the first house that we've got to show you is at the top of the hill, so okay. let's take a walk. Let's go. Just five minutes from Port Isaac, this stone-built farmhouse is semi-detached and comes with a separate holiday bungalow. The house has got four bedrooms and is on the market for just under £240,000. Come in, come in. We're starting off the day right on budget. Tell us what was going through your mind as you were coming up the drive. I just wonder if it, the house might be a little bit isolated, mm -hmm. um, might be too far maybe for the children to find other kids to play with. How does this room particularly strike you in comparison with other things that you've looked at? I think it, it looks interesting. It's quite small, but that's nice in Cornwall because it's good to be snug. If you come through here, ignore the conservatory, ignore the view for the time being, although it's beautiful, and look up at this house because it's a really pretty stone cottage. And what has happened is inside is a mishmash of different decorative styles. You've got the exposed wall, you've got the wood panelling, you've got wallpaper and border, you've got swirly 70s carpet. Uh, would you be prepared to take on work and redecorate and do all the bits and pieces? Yes. If you found the right house? Yes, it was not too much and it was the right place and decorating is fine. Don't want to go for a complete renovation. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, now, I think your lads might have a bit of a problem with this decor. Mm -hmm. This house was a B&B &B and every single room has a bathroom. Which could go? Which could go. Literally, Cardboard. you could take it out in the morning. A, you'd have more room. And B, there's no need to have a bathroom in every room unless your boys are inordinately fond of washing. They're not fond of washing and I'm not fond of cleaning, so yes. the two things it can go. <laughs> Great. Taking away those ensuite bathrooms can increase the space in the bedroom. You'd be able to take much of this pipework down. The main bathroom's up there. This is the only one that would be required. Actually, in this case, taking away from the property will increase its value. What we're going to see now is the holiday bungalow. A little money spinner. Which, exactly, we're hoping will bring in the money. The holiday cottage has two bedrooms and a large kitchen. Plenty of space to create the extra income thereafter. We've done a bit of research about what it would rent for. Low season, it's about £250 a week. High season, £350 a week. North Cornwall is such a popular place to be. It would be a very good income generator. That's good, and this is a rentable place as well. It's nicely mm. situated. It's uh, scary decor again, but nice mm. space. 
It's like a little sort of mini business park thing we've got going on here. Two more income generators, two and a half acres of paddock and obviously the static caravan there. Got to be exciting, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, lovely view, really beautiful paddock as well. Really the bottom line question is, is the whole package doing it for you? For me, it's just the, the house hasn't got the vibes. I don't know why, but just hasn't quite got it for me. OK, so let's see if we can find the right vibes somewhere else. Claire and Peter have been dreaming of a house with sea views and just a few miles down the coast in Porthcothan, we found exactly that. This coastal house is slightly over budget at £250,000, but you get a lot of house for your cash here and there's another promising moneymaker. Quick, everyone in, 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 in. Always have one of these. Yes, what a view, what a view. Lovely, nice Yes, kitchen. impressive I love, spot. Yeah. yeah, a lovely kitchen. I love these through bits as well, so you can cook and chat. And, yeah, yeah, it's got a real family feel. And looks pretty maintenance free from the outside yeah, as well. It's in very good nick. But that, the beach and, and the feel of that, surely yes. what's, what's really got to be good for this house. We could actually shout at them, lunch, and get them to come straight back up. <laughs> Sounding good already. There's also a downstairs bathroom, four good-sized bedrooms and an impressive 33-foot living room. But you can't get away from this. Mm. It sits in the middle of the room and it really takes away from what a fantastic room it is. Now, what Phil and I think is that you could remove this staircase that it is now and shove a spiral staircase into that space. Oh, nice, yeah. Mm. So you'd get all this space back. Up there, you've got two bedrooms you know what? I think the boys would love to be up there. Spiral staircases are often great space savers, but from a practical point of view, you need to think about if you're having an, another child, young children and spiral no staircases, children, and Phil. carrying <laughs> things up there is, is difficult. No plans for more kids then, but with three already, the sleeping arrangements are crucial. So what do you think? I think they like it. I think they really like it. It's, it's got a lot of things going for it. I know. The, the position and the view is outstanding. And I haven't even seen the swimming pool yet. Great, another great room. Bathroom. Wicked, wicked views over the sea. A pool brings upkeep costs, but at around £35 a month for chemicals, they're not too steep. Remember, your children may understand the dangers of a pool. Other people's kids may not. Safety is your responsibility. The fun they could have out there in a the little pool. Great views in every direction as well, again. Well, this is a great room for Kip. Very attic style -y. even though you bang your head on the way in, they're not tall enough to do that. No, it's fun, it'll be a fun place to sleep. I've just walked down the hill about 100 yards from the house to the entrance to the beach. There's a building plot here. Now, I've managed to find out the permission for two houses to go on here. Their asking price is going to be over £400,000. I sense that the house with the view might look pretty good value compared to these. Some people would be concerned about a building plot quite so close. I actually feel that it's good news for the area. It's good news for the values of the area. So a whole new lifestyle on their doorstep and possibly a sound investment too. So will our next property have the vibe thereafter? This 1930s house near Padstow has the four bedrooms they need. It's chocolate box pretty from the outside, yet modern and stylish inside. And it's a dramatic 20 grand below budget, so the money saved should take the pressure off the need for a second income generator. Ooh, what a nice little yeah. kitchen. Nice, bright, light kitchen. Mm. Not a great deal of eating space. Not huge for five of us. But still clean and bright. Mm, yeah. 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 Coming on through. Now, this is one of two sitting rooms. Neither of them are particularly big, but it's, it's nice because you could have you know, PlayStation in one, civilised reading in another, you know, video Essential. watching in one. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Nice little stairway. It's a pretty little house, lovely little stairs, very bright and light. I think it's a dreamy house, I absolutely love it. But it's too small. But it'd be very interesting to see what they make of it because it's within budget and it doesn't have the income generator. Uh, attic bedrooms are really nice. Yeah, I like all this with the eaves and... It does make me feel like I'm in Fulham though. Quite, Which is fine. Well, I suppose. There's a lot of beautiful original features in this house, particularly like the fireplaces in both rooms, but they've been neatly arranged with kindling and paper. Not an absolute guarantee that they work. Worth checking that out. Mm -hmm. But you've had a good look round upstairs. Tell us your thoughts. I think it's a, a lovely little house. It could have been just been plucked out of Fulham and dropped down here. It's a lovely place, but it's too small for us. Uh, but it has the vibes.
It's got the vibes. So it's got the right number of rooms. Got the vibes. It's got the style, but it hasn't got the room. So we've found our couple the style they like, but not the space they need. It's easy to dream of moving to your favourite holiday destination, but it's crucial not to get carried away with the fantasy.